Do you remember what you were doing on February 18th, 1948? I wasn't really born yet, but if I was, and if I was in Kansas and I looked up in the sky, I would have seen rocks like this flying through the air. Let's learn a little bit more, take a closer look, and meet the Norton County, Kansas meteorite. After reports of a fireball over Kansas got back to researchers at the University of New Mexico, they began their recovery efforts for the meteorite a couple months later. Overall, they pulled out over a ton of material with the single largest stone registering in at about 1,000 kilograms, which is still on display at the University of New Mexico. That said, the vast majority of pieces of this meteorite are incredibly small, like the ones I'm showing you here, and that's because it is an albright and it is somewhat brittle in nature. It broke up both as it was flying through our atmosphere and upon impact, so most of the specimens that you'll see are going to be relatively small. But this is certainly a unique meteorite. It is one of only 85 albrights currently noted in the Meteoritical Bulletin. Albrights are notable for their snowy white coloring. They almost look a little bit like dirty snow with little specks of black and even browns and deep reds within them. Now, albrights are believed to form within low oxygen environments. So we're thinking about maybe asteroids that were really close to the sun or maybe differentiated planetary bodies that never fully quite formed. We don't totally know exactly where specimens like this one come from, but we can make some educated guesses based upon scientific analysis of the stones. We do know they are about 4.5 billion years old. They are very unique. They're accounting for less than 0.2% of all discovered meteorite falls. It's particularly rare to have observed falls like this one. So it's pretty highly sought after by collectors. Neat fact about this one as well, some samples of Norton County glow when put under a UV light of the appropriate wavelength. These don't in particular, not in any way that I can capture notably under the camera lens, but a pretty cool feature of some Albrights like the Norton County Albright. You may have also noticed that these meteorites have numbers painted on them. Those are actually the University of New Mexico catalog numbers because these meteorite fragments once made their way through that research institution. They eventually ended up for private sale, which is how I and other collectors have ended up with them. Most collectors choose to leave those numbers painted on to show the unique history and the provenance of the item. I don't normally love these painted on numbers from meteorites because they distract from the stone itself, but these are pretty unique and they're also kind of hard to get off while being careful with the stone, so I've chosen to leave them. If you want to keep learning about space through the lens of the rocks that fly through our atmosphere and land on Earth, make sure to like the video, follow along, space is within your reach.